Okay, welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video where I'm going to go through my predictions for the IB Standard Level Applications course and I'm going to focus on my top 10 topics that you need to know to succeed in your exams. You've got about four or five days until the exams come around, so I'm going to go through my 10 topics to make sure you're prepared for the IB application standard level course and the exam. Okay, so these are my top 10 topics that you need to know to do well on your AISL exam. So I span this over the paper one and the paper two as well. And this is from my experience of the course, as well as looking through Revision Village and also looking at the scheme of learning that's been made for this year. And I've really highlighted number one, because you need to know how to do hypothesis testing. And this covers a fairly broad range. So you've got chi-square testing, you've got t-testing, for example, independence, goodness of fit. So you need to know how to work through a hypothesis test, the standard steps you need to do. Uh, for standard level, you need to focus on that p-value and then know what the p-value and the significance level do in terms of accepting or rejecting h0. If anything that I'm talking about is gibberish, then please do look this up and you know, revise this. Um, I think it's going to be a finance solver question of some kind, so you need to be very happy with your graphical display calculator, whether you have a Casio or a TI Inspire, and know how the functions work, what does CY stand for, what does PY stand for, what does PMT stand for. So you, you do need to know how your ca uh, calculator operates and how to actually operate it with different contexts of questions. Voronoi diagrams is something completely new to the IB course. They're almost guaranteed to have some kind of Voronoi diagram to show this is something new and should be learned for the course, so make sure you have that. Optimization questions, and these were very popular with the IB standard level and math studies back in the day, and I think one of these will appear on a paper too. Um, they could approach it from a differentiation perspective, where you need to work out maximum and minima or they might work it from a quadratic model side of view. We have to find the maximum of quadratic. So make sure you revise optimization. I think you know, from what I've seen so far, there'll be some kind of question on correlation regression, working with Pearson's rank, Spearman's rank, and knowing when one is more effective than the other, i.e. with Spearman's rank, it's less affected by outliers, for example. Uh, the trapezium rule is also new now on the standard level courses. Um, so make sure you are aware of that as well and can use the trapezium rule and take it from the formula sheet and know how to apply it. Uh, the sine cosine rule questions have always been very popular at IB and I think that's going to continue as well. So make sure you know your sine cosine rules on the formula sheet, how to apply them as well, as well as the area of the triangle formula. Again, normal distribution, binomial distribution. This involves knowing your calculator well, so knowing how to use CDF and PDF when to use which one, and also working with inverse norm as well. Make sure you know how to use normal distribution. I think a question will appear. Probability, so this can be approached by a tree diagram, which I'd be like to do, but they could also use Venn diagrams as well. I'm more of the opinion that there'll be a tree diagram question of some kind, or this might be combined with my point eight with a binomial distribution. So eight and nine can kind of merge together. And my last, Prediction for the IB Math AISL paper is some kind of sequences question. So working out from a practical written context, um, the sum of the first 10 terms, or working out the ninth term, or working maybe even backwards as well. So make sure you've revised your sequences. So these are my top 10. If you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments below. I'm more than happy to debate these. Again, this is a new course. So yeah, these predictions, I hope will put you in good stead to be fully prepared for the exam. Okay, bye-bye for now.